I honestly, genuinely thought we were done talking about Ray. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. I'm James, thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button, give us that thumbs up. We talk about Star Wars, Penguin, Batman, and more on the channel. We are a charcuterie board of digital content. Let's get right to it now. Star Wars is back and bigger and bad. Look, anyone that knows me, I've been on YouTube for eight years, knows that I love Star Wars. I have the Rebel Scum Podcast YouTube channel where we talk Star Wars all the time over there. And I talk about Star Wars once in a while on this one too, a little bit more often lately because of all the news that's been dropping. Because Star Wars, whether anyone wants to admit it or not, is still a giant franchise. It's still a franchise people are obsessed with and people cling to. People are clicking on Star Wars videos because they hate Star Wars. That's not true. They click on the Star Wars videos because they love Star Wars and a lot of them aren't happy with the direction it's been taking, and some of them are. Now, either side you're on, I don't care. I don't give a f You can like it or hate it all you want. It's all subjective, it's up to you. No one's right, no one's wrong. Just don't have an opinion because somebody has the opposite opinion. Just have your own opinion, be genuine to yourself, and it's fine. But I gotta talk about Rey, Rey Skywalker, Rey Palpatine, Rey Nobody, we gotta talk about this because, you know, there's been, for a year and a half now, they announced a year and a half at Star Wars Celebration, that Daisy Ridley was back and they're gonna make this Ray movie and everyone's gonna love the Ray movie. Damon Lindelof originally wrote it and it was gonna be a 60 year old Ray at first. It was gonna be like a Helen Mirren type Ray is what they were describing. And they said, get out of here Lindelof, we don't want you, we want Daisy Ridley. Which is something I absolutely agree with. You have Daisy Ridley of age, a perfect age to portray Ray. You didn't get that with Luke Skywalker. When Mark Hamill was the perfect age to give us the Luke Skywalker that we all want, or wanted, at least, they were making the prequels. We never got the opportunity with Mark Hamill. It was a missed opportunity, and Disney did what they did. Lucasfilm, after the acquisition, did what they did. Whatever. It's, it is what it is. That's not the point. But now you have a chance to do this with Daisy Ridley, and apparently she's become the face of everything wrong with the sequel trilogy. <laughs> Like, you think you say sequel? Everyone just hates Ray. But everyone loved Ray in 2015 when The Force Awakens came out. Because I remember that Star Wars Monopoly didn't have a Ray action or a little figurine, little Ray figurine piece. So you had to mail in. I got mine. I went to Hasbro. I said, hey, Hasbro, give me my, my Ray piece. And they sent it. People loved Ray. She was the face of Star Wars for a good two years. And then The Last Jedi came. And I mean, The Last Jedi did what The Last Jedi did, right? But now the Hollywood Reporter is at it. The good old Hollywood Reporter is coming out now and they're discussing Ray and how there's almost like a fight, an internal fight at Lucasfilm to see who gets to work with Daisy Ridley's Ray and who's going to get to utilize that character first. Because apparently, according to insiders, that's the only character in the Star Wars closet that they've got to play with. Am I delusional here? Look, first of all, let me just say, absolutely Ray is the golden hen. Because even though she didn't get character to development she's just a mary sue you know what i don't like the mary sue it's so so f lazy stop being lazy but here's the thing yeah i agree she wasn't developed very well as the sequels went on but guess what you could do now you can develop her so they want to make her an obi-wan kenobi character uh, that's one of the rumors simon kinberg if that's what they're doing whatever look i think the ray movie that was first announced the celebration that's i think we're that's done I think they're going to be moving on. We're going to hear slowly that the director's leaving. I had a video on Rebel Scum Podcast in July or August where I kind of said, I think that director's out of here. I think she's gone now. And I think this is the stuff. When Daisy really says what's great about the new film or films, she says multiple now and everybody went, Ray, trilogy, ah! I think there's a new plan at play for Ray, And I, I think she might be the Obi-Wan character. But, but when they say that, I think she's going to be more of like, she won't be the protagonist. She'll, she won't be the protagonist. She won't be the main protagonist. She'll be a supporting part, as was, as was the original plan with Rey. She'll support the new leads, the new characters. And I think it's a wonderful idea. And the reason why it's a wonderful idea is because now we can move the story forward. We don't have to be trapped in the past. We don't have to worry about it. We don't have to worry about we know where we're ending up. We don't know what the future holds. You could do whatever you want. All I ask is that the filmmakers are creative and do something creative. There's been a lot of talk at Lucasfilm Disney, mostly Disney, right? Because Disney's been, they've been at the butt end of every joke, the woke jokes, this joke, every, like, you know, 
they're very focused on a certain narrative and I think that's really come to light and a lot of people are now calling them out on it and a lot of people were but now I think more prominent figures are calling them out on it and it's becoming known and the box offices are starting to show it. I mean, yes, they had Inside Out too. I haven't seen it, but I think that kind of went with a new narrative. There's a new narrative at Disney and that narrative is make quality. We want a lot of it still, but make quality, and there's going to be more of that focus. We know that Marvel is heading in that direction. If you, I, There was a producer on a bunch of stuff, and they said before they were told just to like crank everything they could out, and now it's being reeled back in and reined back in. They're saying, hey, take your time, make something decent, pitch us something good, and we want to make quality, quality over quantity. That's, I mean, Daredevil Born Again. They, they scrapped it. They were shooting it. They scrapped the whole thing because they're like, this isn't good. This isn't what we need to do. We need to do better. We can do better. We should do better. And I think Star Wars is starting to do that. And I think the Acolyte was the first shoe to drop, right? The Acolyte's failure, they said, look, they told, they canceled that. That's the only thing they've ever canceled for Star Wars is the Acolyte. They said, we got the, we got the message. Not enough views. We got it. We're moving on. But there is something in this Hollywood Report article that is, it's a mind. And it's just this paragraph right here. And there's a quote here. You're being asked to create the New Testament adds one source who worked on previous movies and no one can agree on anything and there's a lot of second guessing about meanings. There's a lot of second guessings about meanings. Okay, you have Dave Filoni who worked right there beside George Lucas and I'm guessing multiple people in these rooms have the phone number of Mr. George Lucas. Give him a f***ing call. Give George Lucas a call. He could tell you the meanings. All the meanings. It goes on to say, another source familiar with the process is more business-minded, noting Star Wars is a nostalgia-based enterprise and they are running out of ways to create nostalgia. You can't create nostalgia. You can't create it. This is the problem. You don't create nostalgia. You create the story. You create the atmosphere. You create the lore. You create the surrounding. You create the environment. Then you get the nostalgia. You have to earn nostalgia. You can't just be nostalgic. You have to earn it. You haven't earned anything yet. Earn it. And I, I'm saying this as someone who's liked most of the, the stuff we've gotten from the new era, the Disney era of Star Wars. I've liked most of it. And it continues, the television side doesn't appear to have these problems, as several insiders note that the arm has a lot more freedom to expand Lucas's universe, which is why these, there's been a, a varied slate of, that runs for better or worse in the eyes of fans. A gamut from Andor, the Acolyte, as well as a corner of Ahsoka creator... Uh, Dave Filoni, the chief executive officer of Lucasfilm. So for some reason, I give more creativity to the Disney Plus stuff because I think there's less pressure on those. You know, they can they can fail. They, like if, if nobody watches it, they just cancel it. But they're not going to make it back no matter what. So you just I think you should focus on a good product, but they don't have to. But the movies you were seeing, right, that decline. Like The Force Awakens was massive. It made, what, $2 billion, the biggest domestic film of all time, blah, blah, blah. Rogue One, for a, for a side story, made a lot of money. Last Jedi made less than Force Awakens. Okay, you can live with that. But Solo was Solo. But then the the Rise of Skywalker, the last one, the Rise of Skywalker, you're ending the Skywalker saga, which you kind of fumbled. That like the name is stupid. If you don't call it that, we have we're having a different discussion right now. But you're stupid. You call it that. And that movie makes just over a billion. So it's still a billion. It's still a ton of money. But you're half of what the first one made, and the last one. Your trajectory should be going up, or at least steady. Like, the second one, okay, bit of a drop-off. But the third one, there's got to be some fan support there. I mean, I made a billion dollars still, but Solo really crushed everything. And, and that's that's the problem. So now they're looking at Rey, and Rey is apparently the savior of Star Wars. And i got to be honest with you, I don't think Rey's the savior of Star Wars, but I think the idea of using that character could lead us to being the savior of Star Wars. That's what I think. I think that character could be our entry point into where Star Wars can go, if Star Wars needs saving. I mean, it does on the big screen. We haven't gotten it on the big, we haven't gotten it on the big screen in in over five, in five years this December, right? So it does need some saving there. And if Ray's the one that's gonna get us into the theater, obviously we got Mandalorian and Grogu. If they think Ray's the one that's gonna work and get our butts in the seats in the theater, then do it and prove all the haters wrong. Just prove them wrong. That's all you have to do because I guarantee you there's a large portion of them that won't admit that they're wrong, but there's a large portion of haters that will say, you know what, I was wrong. Am I skeptical? I think the way things are handled, I have to be now. I think everybody has to be skeptical, especially when you hear that they that they can't figure out that they're running out of nostalgia. They also have to start to agree on everything. And this is the problem. You need, I've said this so many times, Rebels Come Podcast, on all these videos, get in a room, huddle up, and come up with something. 
That's what they need to do. Look, it's frustrating being a Star Wars fan. You try, I mean, I love Star Wars. I can't, I can't not love Star Wars. It's like I'm a Jays fan. I can't not love the Jays. I'm a Toronto Maple Leafs fan. I can't not love, I love the Raptors. Raptors at least won a few years ago. <laughs> like, I, I, I can't help it. I am what I am. But man, you're really not helping me out here. And you're really good at pushing people out of the way. And I'm hoping that changes. Maybe the Kinberg trilogies want to do that. And maybe Daisy Ridley's Ray is the one that unites the fan base. That would be incredible. All right, everybody. That's all I got for today. Thank you so much for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may the force of others be with you.